Thanks for taking the time to join me on my channel, Nigel's Beyond Things. How are you doing? How are you keeping? Hope everybody's safe and sound where you are. 4th of January 2019. Happy New Year to you. Another year's come round. Airportview.net links to that in the description box down below. Nice and simple for everybody to find. Sun starts to rise and it is pulsing, flashing. Yes, that's an all thing to see in the sky. This red object appears acts nothing like a lens flare because it's a projected image it is spinning and that's a normal thing to see on camera no it's not our skies are pulsing as well yeah again one of those normal things to, it's not at all and that black dot on the sun simulator you know the one that everybody says is a camera abnormality well camera abnormalities do not leave reflections on cars Of course, there's nothing wrong because our governments would have told us now, wouldn't they? Point <coughs> 11. Many people have been asking me, what's your view? What's your take on the Kenner, Louisiana and the New York Blue Sky event? What do you think's going on, Nige? What's your view on things? If you get one transformer explode, they do. These things do happen. Overload, pff, off it goes. But when you get two events 1,500 miles apart, same day, near enough, same time, you got to question what's going on. For me, the sky seems like it's shorting out. I'll explain more, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about very, very shortly. We're going to be looking at a webcam from Yellowknife. And this webcam shows us Aurora Borealis. We can see down here, it tells us that in autumn and winter, we can actually see you know, well, yeah, let's have a look and I'll explain what's going on. We're going to be looking at videos from Aurora Max and I'll leave the links to this in the description box down below. As you can see, it is from Yellowknife. The date on the video here is 2017, the 14th of September. The date means nothing. I've got to show you something that I find quite important. We're looking at the Northern Lights. What a wonder. How tranquil. But how dangerous, because this weather does affect the whole world. If you don't understand what the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis does do to our Earth, please look it up on Wikipedia. There is a lot of high voltage going on there. And it does affect our power lines. We can also see this from our South Pole. Let me just point out something. Our moon is coming above the horizon and look what happens. It looks like our sky is shorting out. I've shown this before in a video quite a while back. I'll slow it down and the reason I slow it down is because there's a power line here and as you can see it flashes. The interaction of the power in the sky and this. Has the moon got something to do with it? Not rightly too sure. Something flies through the sky there. Maybe a meteorite. Let's have a look a few days later from 2017. Still the same month and it's the 22nd as you can see here. Is there any correlation between what happened in Kenner and New York and our skies? When I watch this video, it just reminds me of Kenner. Power lines lighting up and uh, transformers glowing. Maybe not so violently, but hey, you get the idea. Charged particles in our sky. The interaction. This is what a Carrington event would look like but a lot more violent. Could we see these particles in the sky? Would it light up like that? Maybe not. Did this actually cause what happened in Kenner and New York? Oh, well, here we've got a storm. We can see it's windy. 
in New York it's very overcast. In winter we get thunderstorms, charged particles in the air in both cases. Power lines flashing. You just got to ask yourself really what did actually cause these two events 1,500 moles apart. I tried to find a correlation yet again, 2018, December the 26th. We can see there's a bit of flashing going on. Soon as the moon comes out, have a look at this. This, yeah. Just strange where it all starts off from, where it goes. And this is what happened on the 27th of December. We can see just wispy clouds, things flying through the sky. Maybe aircraft, maybe meteors. Not really too sure. But you can see there's interaction going on in the sky here. All different colours of the aurora. Very, very pretty. Nothing really happens. I've increased the brightness, sped it up a little bit. You can see the auroras. But then, just over here, we get a glimpse of our moon. And as soon as our moon comes out, Look what happens in the sky. Lots of flashing going on. And look where the aurora started and where it went to. I'm not saying the moon's got anything to do with it, but it's just a bit strange. But what actually happens very, very shortly, I do find strange. Our sky yet again. Looks like it's shorting out. Did this cause Kenner and New York highly charged particles? Just here. Let me show you something. I'm going to slow it right up the way down and look at this craft. There you go. To me, well, everybody seems to be showing them. Nothing wrong there. Our sky seems to be shorting out. You make your own minds up. Something went on. Something maybe they're not telling us. Most of us know exactly what's going on. But hey. You're mad, Nige. You're mad. We're all mad. That's all I've got for you now. Much love, much peace, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.